Hi, this is Lee from Outback Fencing, and today we're going to show you how to install a black pool fence. So stay tuned, and we'll show you how it gets done. All right, so what we want to do now is determine where we're going to put our uh, black flat top pool fence. Um, so really what you want to do is um, find yourself one end, which we've actually already established here. Um, we've already actually gone ahead and put a panel in and a post. But now we want to run a straight line through here. And so basically what we've done here is I've measured down <coughs> the uh, 1205, um, which is going to be the bottom of your panel. Five mils your, is your post cap. And so what you want to do is when you do the fence and you mark it all out, is that you want to put the bracket just below the fence cap. That way your post isn't protruding too much higher above the fence panel. And it just gives a nice, uh, sort of smooth finished look. So what I've done here is I've measured down 1205 from the top of the fence cap and I've put a tiny little uh, screw into the, uh, into the side of this post here. And what we're going to do is just run a string line. Now I've laser leveled from one end to the other. You might not have a laser level, um, but you could probably use a big 1200mm uh, level and get the bubble pretty right. If you're doing a short run, that's okay. If you're doing 100 meters of the stuff, you're probably going to use a laser level to get it perfect. But um, just, yeah, have a look. We'll just string this out. What you want to do is make sure that string line is really nice and tight. If you've got a bit of a sag in the string line, it's not tight enough, your fence is going to have a sag in it. So it's really important to get that really nice and tight. And as you can see here, we're going to have a little bit of a fall. Um, you might, from one end to the other, we're going to have a fall. The, the driveway is falling down towards the road. So I can see here that probably the first one or two panels, we're going to have the same height, and then we're probably going to step it down um, to achieve basically, uh, so, so we don't have a massive gap underneath the fence. So we're going to have to step it down. So, yeah, just looking at that, I reckon we're going to have one or two panels at that same height, and then we're going to have to drop it down. Um, so yeah. All right, so now that you've got the string line all set up, <clears throat> what I like to do is measure these posts. Um, that way, when you're putting these down into the concrete, you know exactly where you need to go. Now, I've got a black marker, which is fine. You can still sort of see it onto the black post but I've measured 1205 millimetres. And you just go along and do that on each post. And it just means that once, um, when you start putting the post down, you can put that 1205, that line that we've put on this mark, to the string line. Now that's gonna work really well for the first couple of posts, but like I said, we're gonna have a step in the fence there. So you're gonna keep that in mind, that we might actually need to also mark 1205 so we know where our fence post is, but, um, you need to determine the steps. So if you term, uh, if you drop the fence about here, midway, 100 mil, you need to also put a, uh, a mark 100 mil up on the fence post so you know you've got that perfect drop. Um, yeah. All right, so what we want to do now is determine where our fence posts are going to go. The best way to do this is to grab something that's the length of the panel. I'm a little bit lazy, but what you should really do is measure the panel and cut a bit of stick or a bit of pipe or something um, as your spacer. Uh, but I'm just going to use a fence panel here and probably actually helps you out by seeing it visually as well. So basically what we want to do is have that panel pretty much hard up against this first post. Then what I'm going to do is just use a little bit of spray paint. Be careful not to spray your panel. I'm just going to spray that on the ground like so. But then what you want to do is either get a, a, a post cap, uh, a 50 by 50 post cap, or in this case we've got a little bit of an off cut uh, 50 by 50 post, which is perfect. So what I'm going to do then is just going to lay that down next to that panel. Now, I'll probably give yourself about oh, somewhere between 3 to 5 mil. Um, space between um, the post that you've just put down here as a spacer. If you have it too tight, all your panels are going to be really tight. 
and you're going to find that a bit of a struggle once the posts are in. So if you give yourself a little bit of play, it's always the way to go. So then what you do basically then is lift this up, be careful not to touch that post on the ground. And basically, whoop, line that up like so. And mark your next one. Grab your post or your spacer, your 50 mil spacer. Put that down on the ground. And you just keep going along like that until you reach your destination point. And that's how um, you work it out. Now, if you do get to the end and you find yourself that you've got about that much in like a 300 mil panel, and you think, oh, it's gonna look a little bit dicky, you probably wanna split that evenly across two panels so it doesn't, um, it doesn't uh, look so out of place. Now, if you're really, uh, you know, particular, you could probably divide the whole thing up and divide all the panels up and cut, cut every single panel so it's perfect, but I mean, who's got time for that? All right, so <clears throat> I've stopped being lazy and I've made up a spacer. Now this spacer that I've put on the ground is exactly the length of the pool fence panel, the black flat top pool fence panel. Now, which is, uh, for these ones here that we've got today, they're 24.50. So just always double check your measurements of the panel first before you go too crazy with marking out your posts and digging. You wanna make sure you get everything right before you do all the hard work. Now, like I said, I've got a little mark here which will go to the string line that we've set up. I've got my spacer. Now, before I put anything in the hole, to make sure the hole's deep enough and make sure that line that I put in goes just below the mark. Um, so that way we know that the hole's deep enough and that this post is gonna go down. <clears throat> now also, um, we wanna keep in mind, um, yeah, when, when you're digging these holes as well, I just wanna show you something. This is what we use to dig the holes. Now you can find these anywhere in Bunnings. Well, I suggest if you're gonna do this long term, buy yourself a pair of uh, Cyclone, uh, this is the brand, uh, double hand shovels. Now these are just perfect. What we've done here is we have to jackhammer the, um, the ash a little bit, but then basically these sort of just go down to the ground like that and you can pick up the dirt and take it out of the hole. So we've gone down um, 600. You need to at least go down 600 by about 150 to 200 wide. Um, so yeah, so what we do now is just fill up that hole about halfway full. Is that right, Zach? Yeah. put a bit too much water in that one it doesn't matter <clears throat> all right then we want to find the side that's got our mark make sure the fence post is on the right side of the string line and then what we want to do is sort of just I like to sort of hold the top and let gravity do the work and then you can just sort of slowly sort of jiggle that down now remember you want to give yourself about a two to five, um, three to five mil gap between the spacer. <clears throat> Just so when it goes in, it makes it a lot easier. Now, you could actually probably pull this post cap off if you really wanted to as well. I'm just gonna leave it on, it's too hard to get off. But because you're pushing this down, the air wants to escape and it makes it a bit harder to push down the post. So if you have this post cap off, it's actually easier to push down the post. All right. So what I want to do now is level this and see where we're at. I'm a little bit off the string line, so I can sort of lift it up a little bit and sort of just jiggle that towards me with putting a bit of pressure at the bottom to move it over. All right, we'll level it both sides. I'm pretty good that way. Now I'm really good where I want to be. 
Now I want to go down about 40 mil. Give that a little bit of a, a little bit of a jiggle and a twist. Level this back up. Yeah. Perfect. We've got the fence post perfectly in place. Now we just leave, let that sit, don't touch it. And then to do the next one, we just bring that over and put that hard up against the post and keep going. All right, so we've concreted these in now. Now we've actually, uh, as you could probably see in the video before, we used uh, some wrapper set bags, um, which is perfect for use for uh, pool fencing uh, for our blacktop pool, pool fencing. Uh, we don't sell the bags of wrapper set, but you'd be able to find uh, a 30 kilo bag is probably what you're after, a uh, place like Bunnings um, or your local hardware store. Now, what we're gonna do now is put the bracket on. I always like to put one bracket on to start with, especially if you're doing this by yourself. And basically get the top of the bracket just underneath um, the bottom of this uh, post cap. All right, so you get that. Use the screws provided. And screw that in there. <clears throat> now what you want to do <clears throat> is get your, the rest of your fence brackets all ready. And have a panel in place ready to go and bring it over here. And then you just want to place the brackets on. So you always face the top brackets down like so. And when you put the bottom brackets in, have them facing up, the screw holes facing up. Whack them in there, ready to go. And then what you want to do generally is get into the middle of the panel and slide that into the end. And what you want to do is get to the end here and sort of hold it with your hand and basically get the uh, top of the bracket again um, just sort of flush with the bottom of that cap. If you have two people it is a bit easier. I'm showing you how to do it with one person. Get your one screw in there. And then what you do is you go along and screw in the, uh, the bottom brackets. And then you continue to just go along and install the panels like so. Also, you should have at least two spare screws. Once you've screwed everything together, you should have two spare screws. And what is a good idea is to put a screw through the bottom of this bracket into the pool fed panel. That way it sort of locks in in place and there's no way that it can pop out. And put another one at this end. Make sure your posts are obviously level and put another one on this end and that just all sort of locks it into place and makes it nice and tight. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put in the rest of these panels and uh, we'll catch up with you in a minute. All right, there you have it. We've put all our panels in now, um, screwed them all together. And as you can see, we'll put a nice little step here to make sure that we're um, you know, not too high off the ground as it goes out towards the road. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much how you put a uh, black pool fence together. <laughs>